Hello everyone, this is Gautam and in this video today I am going to show you how you can play with Excel in Workshop 35. So when I say playing with Excel in 35, so what does it mean? It means that how you can use the various Excel features in cert with 35. Okay. I am saying that because I have seen people who can who say that in Excel we can only store something, we can only input some value in the cell and that's all. So we they don't know or they have no idea that many things can be done with 35 in Excel. There are people who are very scared or who gets very scared when they get something related to Excel. Okay. So before coming into some 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 real time example, so so let me show you one thing. So suppose this is my this is this is Excel, okay. And here in Excel I am entering a value in this cell. And Excel is uh, is basically a table, rows and columns. So there is nothing very fancy here. So if you know how to work in a table, row and column, so same thing here. Okay. So anyway, so I have entered some value here. Now you have seen that I, there, there, that this value it, it become or it behaves differently here after entering, right? So it is not what I have entered. Now suppose if I select this cell, I get this value here but it is not showing actually here. Now suppose my requirement says I need to validate this value and you, you have come across this, this scenario that when you run some SAPT code or some transaction, so there uh, ex in that transaction generates one Excel report and then you need to validate the report or something like that. So let us assume that you have this report ready and the requirement is basically to validate this value. Okay, You already have this value and you just want to make sure that the same value appears in this cell or not, row number 4, column number 6. So how you will do? So let me open one process here and let me quickly add one step. Okay. First one will be verify cell. Okay, row number 4, column number 3, sorry, column number 3 and the value. Okay. And this value. So first quickly check whether this works or not. Definitely it is not going to work. Sorry, I just execute sorry. So I should be doing a little bit dialog. verification failed if you see here okay understood so this value which I have is not matching with the value in Excel but value is same so how you will format this cell so that it becomes like this so this is what I'm going to show you here okay so let me take this step now anyway come back to Excel Okay, before doing that, there are many things, see, if you see this toolbar and the, this ribbon and all, there are many things, everything can be done here. So generally how you format the Excel cell, you select the cell, do a right click, format cell, right? That's it you do, but from 35, how you will do it? So selecting the cell cell is very easy, right? We have an action called select cell, but then how you will activate this context menu? So what you need to do press the alt key in excel okay see it will highlight the hot keys now what all keys are you are seeing alt f and all these are all basically the hot keys now you must be knowing that if you press alt and f it activates the file menu right so similarly if you press the alt key it activates the hot keys then you press h now suppose i press h now if you see all this formatting options here in the ribbon or toolbar are inside the home menu because home menu is activated. If I press H, so it activates all the hotkeys for that toolbar or ribbon which is under the home menu. Okay, got it? Now if I press O, it activates the format option here. Okay, and if I press E, if you see the E here for, for format cell, if I press E, it activates the format cell. So similarly, how is we, we we are going to do all these things in 35 that I am going to show you. Okay. 
second most important thing people are very confused with the name okay the ms office or this office automation window and this office automation window and all it is not hard there is no hard and fast tool that it should be with this name only okay you can anytime change the name you can have any name but make sure that you have some meaningful name because we should follow the naming convention that is recommended by workshop okay but there is no hard and fast tool that it should be ms office 1.0 the application version should be ms office 1.0 no it is not mandatory the window should be office underscore op automation window it is again not mandatory this object is again not mandatory name can be anything any x y z a b c tom dick harry anything okay so don't don't, don't get confused okay so to activate this hotkeys and all and to pass those key combinations from certify what you need to do select the application version as ms office or whatever is your application version window and object now make sure you don't select the object as excel now here if you see to store the value from that cell i have used excel automation window object sorry excel automation object and then you will find all the table related actions here verify cell store cell store range and all but to pass this kind of key combinations you need to make sure that you select the window here as an object means your window is office office automation window so your object should be the same office automation window and then you will find one action called z keys okay and then for z keys you need to pass several parameters first is the caption for the target window means your excel file name or the caption it is although it is mandated optional but it is recommended that you give this value okay because if you have two three excel open and if you don't give the caption then you don't know then that in which excel window this operation will happen so always give some caption okay so in my case i am giving the caption as excel and the criteria it contains then my, i am passing the keys here h o e which i have just showed you alt h o e i am doing it manually and you can see okay this key is activated so now we'll do this from certify alt h o e okay then what will happen once this format cell gets activated then you need to navigate to several tabs and all or the correct tab so that i am doing using active object okay active window active object i am giving that window caption will be format so i am giving that caption as format criteria should be contains and then i am passing several tabs here and enter okay so let's do that and see whether it works or not okay. so format cell window is activated okay now see it got expanded okay now let us assume i want to expand the width here okay i want to expand the width of this cell so that also we can do let's see now see column width window is there i need to give some value and as you can see this is expanded okay now again i will store now see which i stored in the beginning is like that and now it is like that so if you have this kind of requirement where you need to evaluate certain excel values from your application value and because this value is too big it is not formatted in excel and it comes in some haphazard way so this is the way how you can fix it okay and one more thing that i have seen people who don't know how to create this ms office uh, application and all so for that strictly thing is go to your application right click say new application give any name okay i'm creating a office application i'm giving the name as delete and and give any version basically it should be one select the interface as office okay so this one so now if you see this delete will get created somewhere right here now import the map okay import map now you don't know where is the map right now go to your certify installation directory okay we should be generally in the c drive and program files okay Certify interface client. Okay. 
the layers just select all six from view okay say okay you will find the map so it is delivered when you install certify in your system this is already there and there are many people who don't know about it so just select this map and say okay okay now if you see this office map is created here okay and i can give any name i don't like this uh, office automation window so i will give ms office or anything okay anything testing okay so this will work it, it is not that this will this will not work okay okay now one more thing now suppose i need to increase the length increase the font size then what we will need to do just a quick thing here this is here right so how you will do alt okay home okay f s and see the cursor is, is there so let's do that and see whether it works or not alt h f s so just copy something quickly just save something alt h f s whether this works or not see it works right it, it increased the font size okay. and now again we need to add those steps to fix it so I can say this one I can do I will increase the width this two step I can run after this one And here the size is 34, so I will say 70. Okay, let's see whether this works or not. Okay, so this is this is how it works. So this is how you can play with Excel using all the hotkeys and all. Okay, so hope you will like this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.